What's up ladies and gents, and thanks for joining us today for our League of Legends Top 5 Plays. From Scion to Maokai, this episode has some unique champions and a different style to it because of the overall variety. We see a lot of the same types of submissions, so we wanted to step away from that for an episode to mix it up and I hope you enjoy. Battle Fanatic X leads the charge at our number 5 play, actually charging in with his ultimate when the enemy team gets hit by Onslaught of Shadows. He crashes into 3, chaining the stun with Decimating Smash into Orianna's Shockwave and Dissonance, which instantly kills off 2 carries. The engage and follow up from his team allows him to win this team fight pretty handily and push with Baron. They 0 to 100 and take literally every structure down mid lane, winning the game off of that perfectly chained engage by Red Team's front line and Orianna. Our number 4 spot for this week comes from Isaac on Ash with a clutch play when things are looking really grim. I wanted to take a quick moment to say that there's almost always something you can go back to point out when it comes to these base defense plays and I only really feature these if there are minimal mistakes and in my opinion the enemy team is definitely trying to wrap this game up. Elise goes for the stun but she sidesteps beautifully and kites back while on a good path to avoid the binding. She's the only one with the Baron buff on her team, so she hangs back to 1v1 Darius, but when Zed responds, he chooses to rush in, pretty much instantly dying, but going one for one. Sadly, even with the slows and good kiting, she's too weak to finish off the Dunk Master, and he gets away with a sliver of health. The creeps have spawned, and they're empowered by Baron, but she has to get in there, racing to do enough damage. Watch her target selection as she forces Repel, Prox, Guardian, Angel, and then gets on TF, Q assessing the gold card and finishing Elise immediately after. She hits TF instantly for the double and then weaves in her volley to take down Morgana, leaving the Nexus one hit away from game over. There's a gigantic creep wave in the top lane, pushing for Isaac's team, and thanks to the stun from her ult, she's able to ace the enemy team and push with Baron to win the game. Leaping into third place with the Fiesta in the Baron pit, we have best Rengar Laos taking on the enemy team all by his loans himself. He opens up with a perfectly executed combo in the fed Yasuo, quickly taking him down before moving to Baron. He jumps in the pit and gets kicked right back out, but Baron finishes Thresh as he leaps back in and double Qs to burst down Lee Sin and Tom Kench. Despite being alone on this Baron stopping endeavor, he's made quick work of the enemy team and right now he's just waiting on his smite to come back up. Jin wraps around the wall and goes for the flash steal, but Rango instantly turns and gets the pentakill at the same time his smite secures Baron. Our next play in today's lineup comes from Turned Up on Caitlyn, and although the quality isn't the greatest because it was submitted this way, I find it awesome to be able to see the actual mouse movements and decision making, so I hope you guys don't mind it too much. Caitlyn places down a trap and Caliber nets the Olaf, but he ends up falling back anyways to finish Nautilus. At this point, it's looking pretty rough for Caitlyn's team, but she keeps on pumping out good DPS without compromising her position around the traps. Thresh walks up and flays into exhaust, reducing her movement speed to force a flash away from the hook, and then she turns for the headshot, Caliber nets Vayne, and keeps on kiting and fighting, moving down which gives her that pocket of time she needs to finish Orianna, Olaf, and finally trundle with her ult for the pentakill. When things boil down to a 1v5, Caitlyn clutched it out to win the game for her team. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Captain Hedgehog of Maokai, and normally submissions from this champ are few and far between, and if we see a play, it's always just an initiation, so it was really awesome to see Maokai beast mode through every part of this extended team fight. Right off the bat, as Caitlyn gets wrecked, and there's not much he can really do, so afterwards he stands in position to soak damage with his ult. With Caitlyn and Vi down really early on in the fight, he's gonna have to pull his weight in damage. After rooting Kha'Zix to peel for his Morgana, he backs off to rejoin Yasuo, who flashes away and plans his own escape, so Captain turns with an arcane smash and super well timed twisted advance to follow the bug and give him the smack smack for the shutdown. He doesn't waste a moment not stopping for even a single auto attack because he knows he can't do anything alone here and he needs to get closer to a teammate. Morgana swoops in with a black shield and lands a nice binding on Echo which gets chained into the twisted advance as he knocks back Shen and throws the sapling. Echo tries for a getaway and almost gets out but Maokai falls with a flash root and pops him with a quick auto and Q before the taunt lands. Shen takes no damage and Maokai spots Jin in mid lane so it's time to run as he sidesteps the root, arcane smashes and takes off. Grasp of the Undying plus a couple of auto attacks gets him insanely low and the taunt almost does it but his passive buys time to turn on the ult and smack that honey fruit to get back some health. Captain Hedgehog wants all the fruit for himself but gets tagged by a deadly flourish and drops so low but manages to sustain again and get his shield up. The tree is fearless and dukes it out using the ace in the hole from Caitlyn to finally take down Shen. Remember when Caitlyn died at the start of this play, respawned and ran all the way back to the fight again? It's a testament to how beastly Maokai is as a champion, but also how much work our friend Captain Hedgehog put in throughout this extended battle. Maokai, swagging out. 
And for our bonus clip of the week, we have Andy Hool on Thresh with an Inspector Gadget stretchy hook courtesy of his buddy Rise. Right away we see him get tagged by Syndra's stun and then Jin opens up the current call so Rise channels the ult and Thresh lands a hook right as he gets teleported out, allowing him to fly back into the heart of the team fight and put down his box into a flay. His team wins the fight pretty hard and honestly it was super useful that things worked out the way they did. I've seen some stretchy hooks before but this one's up there with the best and it's so unexpectedly useful. We're currently running a promo with Dollar Shave Club that lets you try the first month for just a buck and that includes all shipping costs. Head on down to the description box or manually visit dollarshaveclub.com slash potato monster to get a bunch of razors pretty much for free. If you're hungry for more high quality league videos, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and click on one of the cards to either go back to the last top five or check out a new video. We also have an Overwatch channel where we make the same type of content, so maybe that's what you're feeling. Whatever you decide to do, thanks so much for tuning in for today's episode and I hope you have a wonderful day.